what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is a special video because it is a collab video it's my first collab ever so i'm really excited about this but in this video i'm just doing um a perm rod set and i collab with the beauty for kicks on youtube so definitely go check out her channel and subscribe to her channel like her video comment share do all that good stuff on her channel once you're done watching mine but like I said, this is a perm rod set and she did the same thing similar just with Cuban twist hair. So definitely go check out her video when you're finished with mine. And if you like this video, um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. So now to get to the video, what I am doing, like I do in every hair video, I just section my hair off into fours. And I'm just going to start with the back. Now I'm taking Shea Moisture's... Um, uh, co-wash detangler and I'm just going to use some of that and work it through my uh, whole section and then I am going to finger detangle you can use a wide tooth comb or you can use um, a dimming brush but I just decided to uh, use my hands and do finger detangling only because my hair has not been combed in like a week and I just did not feel like dealing with all the extra stress because my hair is very thick so I just decided to finger detangle and finger detangling for me is easy and it's a lot more better than your hair uh, or not than your hair but for your hair so first um like I said I'm just going to um, finger detangle and now I'm going to take a smaller section the section that I'm actually going to roll with the perm rod and I am taking Shea Moisture's Frizzy Frizz Curl Mousse and I'm going to use that and I'm going to work that from the ends on up and I'm just going to massage that all over. My hair has uh, has been washed um, but it is not um, soaked. It's just a little bit damp and I feel like with perm rod sets it works better when your hair is just uh, uh, damp instead of soaked. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking this orange perm rod these are the ones i decided to use i also use purple ones for like a tighter curl but i just don't want super tight curls all over my head so i'm using both but now i'm just rolling my ends at the bottom and then as i roll up i am twisting as you can see and then i'm just going to clip the perm rod and there you go it stayed so now i'm going to show you guys one more time um how i roll up my hair and you can take um small to medium sections i just didn't um it the bigger the section the uh looser the curl might be or the longer it'll take for it to dry but my hair was like basically dry by now already because I started out with dry hair so you can do this on wet hair if you want it'll just take a longer time to actually um, dry so again I'm just going to wrap my ends around the bottom of the perm rod and then as I wrap up that's when I'm going to wrap and twist and wrap and twist and it's just to um, get the desired curl that I want and I actually found this way better because before when I tried to perm my set it did not come out how this one came out and nor did I do this technique so if you do want to try a perm my set I think you definitely should try it this way because it, it came out really good for me
So for the sake of this video, I just decided to fast forward um, a bit just because I don't want you guys looking at my video and be bored. But, um, you know, after the first two, I showed you the concept. So pretty much it's self-explanatory after that. So now I'm just going to show you how I just did this front curl um, just with the smaller um, perm rod because I haven't uh, showed you the ones with the smaller ones. And it's just the same technique, like I said, it's just wrapping and twisting and curling. So once I am finished, this is how it should look. Now, some people like to sit under a dryer. I hate the dryer. I did this without any heat. And because my hair was already dry when I started, then it really was only about two and a half hours for it to dry completely with the products that I put in there. And then I just put on a cap and I just did a couple things as the time went by. And now to speed up the video even more, I'm going to show you the takedown part. But again, this part is um, fast forwarded because I do not want you guys being bored of my video. Or uh, yeah, being bored uh, watching my video, not being bored in my video. But um, this is how they came out and I am in love with these perm rod twist like I used to do my hair when I was younger and I used to try to do a perm rod set and it never came out right but like now like this is just like amazing to me that they actually came out good and this was just my first try doing this so um again you know look how defined these curls are and look how tight they are and even some of them are looser because I didn't get to wrap it all the way correctly because I can't see in the back of my head. But anyhow, these curls came out nice. And this is just what it looks like. Um, just with the perm rods out of my hair. Without me even fluffing it or giving it any volume or separating any curls. And I think it's pretty good for um, the way it looks now. So now I'm just wanna, I just want to separate some. Because I just like big hair. So um, you can stop at this part if you like, but if not, you can definitely separate some of your curls. You just want to be, you just want to be um, nice and uh, easy and gentle when it comes to separating curls, because you don't want to mess up the curl itself after you did all that hard work. So you just take some oil, and I'm just taking some olive oil, and um, I'm just going to separate some of the curls. Some of the curls that are already looser, there's no need for me to separate. But, some, but the other ones that are tighter, I do I did decide to separate them. But again, like I said, it's all up to you. This is just how I did it because this is what I wanted.
now some of my twists are all separated and as you can see my hair has gotten a little bigger because I give it I gave it a little bit more volume with separating my curls and again like I said I loved how this came out it's so flowy it's so bouncy it's not heavy because I didn't use a lot of product um, my curls are intact I am just loving it they are very defined even the ones that were just a tad bit looser but again, this is like the bomb.com, especially for it being just like a quick thing um, I did because this is like the first time I really achieved a perm rise set that came out good. So if you guys like this video, definitely like, comment, subscribe, share, try it, and follow me on my social networks. Um, my Instagram is Caramel Dimple Dip, uh, and my Twitter is Dimple Dip. Definitely check me out on my social networks. I post pictures all the time, either about makeup or about hairstyles. And if you guys have any type of videos you'd like me to achieve, definitely comment and definitely subscribe. But again, this is a collab video, so go check out Beauty for Kicks. Go subscribe to her Instagram. Go sub su go subscribe to her YouTube. Definitely go add her on Twitter. And thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate it.